Dear students, we are talking about the stages of internationalization and this is the third, third stage of international foreign operations and that is the international division. We will be looking at how an international division operates in the international context and what type of organizational structure is established to operate this international division. In this picture, you can see that the organization has got headquarters in the parent country. This organization is manufacturing various different products. So there are product line A, product line B and product line C, which is operated in the form of a division. So there are domestic division for product A domestic division for product B and domestic division for product C. And when you are going into international operations in a divisional structure, you will have an international division head who is managing all your product lines and your area divisions in different foreign countries. So, aapke international operations ka, international divisions ka ek separate head hoga jo ke aapke headquarters mein housed hoga, headquarters mein operate karega aur wo aapke tamam international divisions ko, international production facilities ko, aapke uh, international sales subsidiaries ko manage karega aur aapke headquarters se coordination establish karega. इस डायग्राम में आप देख सकते हैं कि इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के तीन एरियाज में ऑपरेशंस काम कर रहे हैं एक इनका यूरोपियन डिवीजन है एक इनका मिडिल ईस्टर्न डिवीजन है एक इनका अफ्रीकन डिवीजन है दिस इज अ हाइपोथेटिकल स्ट्रक्चर एंड दिस इज नॉट एग्जैक्टली रेप्लिकेटिंग एनी रियल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस इज ओनली हाइपोथेटिकल so European, Middle Eastern, African divisions and in that divisions then you have a general manager who may be looking after either product A, B or C or he may be looking after all the products so you can see that there is and or uh, written over there so a product A, B or C हो सकता है कि यूरोपियन डिवीजन के अंदर तमाम प्रोडक्ट्स आप सेल कर रहे हो हो सकता है ए या बी या सी सेल कर रहे हो सो द जनरल मैनेजर वुड बी लुकिंग आफ्टर ऑल द प्रोडक्ट्स दैट आर बीइंग सोल्ड इन यूरोप दे मे बी बीइंग मैन्युफैक्चर्ड इन यूरोप एज वेल एंड देन जनरल मैनेजर लुकिंग आफ्टर प्रोडक्ट ए बी और सी इन द मिडल ईस्टर्न एरिया एंड जनरल मैनेजर looking after product A, B or C in the African division. And then you can see that under those, then there are separate functional units. So from the sales subsidiary structure, uh, you go for this divisional structure in which the sales subsidiary structure does not have functional units under each division, each international division. But now you have uh, created a structure which is more complex and now you have separate functional units operating under each division of your international operations so you will be having uh, HR function you will be having finance function you will be having production function you will be having marketing function under each division which is operating in the international context how an international division may be established? Number one, uh, converting sales subsidiary to a, pro, uh, to a production or service facility. Aap ek mulk mein aapki sales subsidiary hai, ab aap us sales subsidiary jahan pe aap sirf apna product sell kar rahe hain, aap wahan par apni production facility establish kar lehen. So ye possibility hai ki aap international division apna establish karein. It is a relatively small step for those organizations who are already assembling products. So sometimes ye hota hai ki aap parts jo hain, wo apne uh, uh, parent country mein produce kar rahe hote hain. 
لیکن آپ ان کی اسمبلی فارن کنٹری میں کرتے ہیں فار ایگزامپل یو نو دیٹ آل دی آٹو انڈسٹری وچ از آپریٹنگ ان پاکستان فار ایگزامپل ٹویوٹا ہو گیا یا ہانڈا ہو گئی ان کی سب کارز کے پارٹس جو ہیں وہ ان کی پیرنٹ کنٹری سے آتے ہیں جاپان سے آتے ہیں اور یہاں پر جو ان کے پلانٹس ہیں وہاں صرف پہ وہاں صرف آپ اسمبلنگ کرتے ہیں اور اسمبلنگ اگر آپ کر رہے ہیں تو اس کا مطلب ہے کہ آپ نے ایک پلانٹ بھی لگایا ہوا ہے آپ پروڈکشن کر رہے ہیں اور آپ اپنے سارے فنکشنس کو آپ نے الائن کیا ہوا ہے ایسے سسٹم کے اندر آپ کے لیے پروڈکشن کو کمپلیٹلی ٹیک اوور کرنا آپ کے لیے آسان ہے سو اٹ از اے ریلیٹیولی اسمال اسٹیپ اف یو آر آلریڈی ڈوئنگ دا اسمبلنگ فنکشن اٹ از اے ریلیٹیولی بگ اسٹیپ اف یو گو فار ڈائریکٹلی اسٹیبلشنگ اے پروڈکشن فیسلٹی سو اف یو ہیو اونلی اے سیل سبسڈری ویئر یو آر اونلی سیلنگ اینڈ ناؤ یو ہیو ٹو گو فار دی پروڈکشن کمپلیٹ پروڈکشن آف یور پروڈکٹ ان اے فارن کنٹری it is a relatively bigger step a larger step and therefore you will need to employ greater resources and it will be a little bit more complex process to directly establish production facilities in a foreign country uske liye aap kya kar sakte hain ke bahut sari companies jo hain wo joint venture karte hain ya wo already kisi local company ko acquire kar lete hain for example when walls was established they took over the local com- uh, companies which were uh, already operating in the local market so they bought their factories and they bought their production facilities and that is how they established themselves so if there is a local company which is working in the same business you can go for taking over the production facilities of that uh, company when you establish an international division initially how the structure will look like it will look like a mini- miniature replica of the parent country headquarters initially um, later on when the organization is more embedded in the foreign environment it may evolve into a different type of structure but initially when you establish uh, your organization in a foreign country it looks like a miniature replica of your parent country all the subsidiary managers they report to the head of international division aapne diagram mein dekha tha ki ek international division ka head hai aur aapke tamam subsidiary managers jo hain wo us head ko report kar rahe it is possible that there is some informal reporting to respective functional heads so it is possible ki kuch informal reporting ho rahi hai aapke finance ke head جو ایک ڈویژن سے بلانگ کرتے ہیں وہ یورپین ڈویژن کے فائنانس کے ہیڈ مڈل ایسٹرن ڈویژن کے فائنانس کے ہیڈ سے بات کر رہے ہیں ان کو انفارملی رپورٹ کر رہے ہیں دیٹ ہاؤ دے آر مینجنگ تھنگس بٹ دیٹ وڈ بی ڈن انفارملی اینڈ دیر از پاسبل دیٹ دیر از ہارزونٹل کمیونیکیشن بٹوین دا فنکشنل ہیڈس ایز ویل سو دس از ہاؤ این انٹرنیشنل ڈویژن لکس لائک ان فارم آف دس اٹس اسٹرکچرل آؤٹ لک and how it goes into operation initially in the international phase 